All right, what I have here is two microwave oven transformers wired together in series. The grounds are connected by these green wires on each side. I have two of them just to make sure it gets a good current flow from one transformer to the other. They are wired with the windings to where they run the same way and it almost acts as one transformer. So you got one positive end or one uh, mains line in which is your 120 volts AC and it runs to the primary coil of each of these little transformers right here and the secondary coils are connected together in series and there's a gap on the opposite end of the winding that's connected to the grounding body which is connected with these two and then over here I have a third microwave oven transformer rated at 1500 watts and this one is ran in series with the mains coming in to these transformers and what that does is it keeps the power from overloading and causing a breaker to flip these to overheat or my little power switch right here which is just a power strip keeps it from overloading now over here on one end of the secondary coil I have a set of two microwave oven capacitors each one weighted it rated at 2100 volts and since there's two of these in series together that brings the total voltage up to 4200 or so volts so I have to have two of these in series so that the overall voltage of the capacitors acts as one capacitor at about 4200 volts if I were to just run one it would overheat and it could pop these are filled with an electric, electrolytic fluid so when they pop these little vent points right here blow open see on each side there's a vent point there and a vent point there they'll blow open and steam will come flying out of the room and it stinks really bad and I'm doing this in my kitchen so I don't want that to happen and I've already got plugged into my power switch power switch ran to an outlet and I'm going to give a little test and kind of show off what it can do alright so I'll sit down for this a good view of everything and the wiring is a little crappy right now I haven't finished it off this isn't the permanent setup for it this is just for testing purposes to make sure I had everything wired right and I did works perfect All right. I'm going to flip it on before I flip it on make sure this my chicken stick which basically is just a piece of PVC pipe with an old paddle bit on the end of it some wire wrapped around it and a little inductor I made that's what you see right there the thing with the wire wrapped around it it's an inductor just to make sure I don't draw too much current and overload the whole system just a little bit of safety stuff everywhere so I'm going to flip this on and if you can hear it on the video the transformers are humming this one's not humming this one is I don't understand why but this one hums it's perfectly fine they run cool they don't get a bit hot the ballast which is back there does get a good bit warm alright so got my chicken stick right here now I'm going to arc it off of the other end of this transformer right here this is going to be cool that there my friends is a lot of current that is more current than you would want to touch. Not very high voltage. Well, 4200 volts is a good bit of voltage, but the amps coming through the same. You would not want to get stuck in between that. The amps coming out of that thing are unbelievable. All right. I'm sure my capacitors are discharged. These hold current for a long time and can dump a lot of it into your body. So you always make sure they're good and, good and shorted out so you don't get fried. I'm going to unplug this. Alright, now I'm going to put everything up and get ready for work. That was a lot of fun. Hope to have some more videos soon. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.